A 20 year old cold case in Baldwin County now getting new life by uncovering clues from the past. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Foley tonight. And Debbie, this case, first and foremost, is really in search of a name. Absolutely. We're in the cemetery here in Foley, and for 20 years, this guy has laid in this grave waiting for a name, but maybe not too much longer. Last year, we told you about Seminole Doe, a man whose body was discovered in the Styx River and efforts to identify him. It was March 26th, the year 2000. Fishermen uh, on, the, uh, on the Styx River south of Highway 90 uh, saw something in the brush. The cause of death was drowning. The sketch, the only image of what he looked like. He's believed to have been in his 40s or 50s. He was only wearing black jeans and several tattoos. Now, there were high hopes for those tattoos when they were first released last year. Two of the women appear to be the same person. And then there's the name Becky. But all those leads so far have been dead ends. Forensic testing, fingerprints, appeals on social media, and a recent online tool called NamUs, a federally funded database for missing persons, have all been used, but so far, none have been successful. So now investigators plan to exhume his body. He has a story, and uh, that story still needs to be told. In hopes more extensive forensic testing will help reveal Seminole Doe's real name and finish the story and that started 20 years ago. And they are planning to exhume his body from this cemetery. We have no timetable at this point. We're just told it will be soon. We'll keep you updated. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.